Hematology The red blood cell count Learning objectives The student is supposed to be able to describe the test and the test principle and also be able to perform the test procedures and interpret the results. To determine whether there is adequate number of red blood cells in the circulation, a red blood cell count is carried out. Blood cell counts are traditionally expressed as the number of cells per cubic millimeter of blood. In performing a red blood cell count, a microscope and a hemocytometer apparatus are needed. A hemocytometer apparatus consists of a white blood cell pipette, a red blood cell pipette, a cover slip, and an improved Nuba hemocytometer of depth 0.1 millimeters and area 1 over 400 millimeters squared. A red blood cell diluting fluid is also required. A plastic tube for pipetting is attached to the red cell pipette and made ready for use. The counting area and the cover slip are both wiped with a clean alcohol swab. The cover slip is then placed firmly on the counting chamber. The lancet is fixed on the lancet holder and made ready for use. The lancet is used to prick the tip of the thumb and the blood is pipetted with a red blood cell pipette and filled to the 0 0.5 mark. The pipetted blood is then diluted with Hyam solution, that is the red blood cell diluting fluid, and filled to the 101 mark. The counting chamber is then filled with the diluted blood. The hemocytometer is mounted on the stage of the microscope and various adjustments are made for suitable viewing.
and the objective magnification of four. The counting chamber is brought into focus. and the objective magnification of 10. The red cell counting area is seen prominently with tiny red blood cells. And the objective magnification of 40. The red blood cells are very visible and suitable for counting. Interpretation of results. Red blood cells are counted from 80 small squares and the red blood cell count per millimeter cube of blood is estimated as shown.